Wait, 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 wait. So you can see all your Microsoft chats and related emails and Outlook meetings all in one place in Jira service management? Is that even right? Can this be true? Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly and today we're doing another app review. It's called Microsoft 365 for Jira, made by the company called Yasun. They are sponsoring this video. They graciously allowed me to show you how seamless they made integration between Microsoft 365 and Jira Service Management, Jira Confluence. So I'm going to show you why it is important and how those two apps play together so nicely. And if you are a Microsoft 365 user, you will be blown away how easy it is. So let's jump right into it. And first, I want to go to the Microsoft 365 and show you on their end how to raise an issue. And then we're going to go to Jira Service Management and see what we can do. So this is familiar interface for you. This is Microsoft 365 and we have IT support here. So if I click on IT support, this is something you probably would not expect. Look at this, Jira service management portal is integrated right into your Microsoft 365, which is amazing. Imagine you're a big team that is hiring some other team to do IT support for you or anything like that. They don't even need your client, the big client who's Microsoft 365, they don't even need to know what Jira service management is. They just have a portal right into their workspace where they usually work in their Microsoft 365 and they can raise an issue, you can see their issue and you on the other end can work on your Jira service management without even touching this as well. So this is very, very seamless and allows transition easy transition and you can onboard way way more customers that way because sometimes they don't like to jump between Jira and Microsoft and this and that so you are allowing them to make it way way easier and by the fact that this is integrated so well and so nicely this is very very good so uh, we have uh, defined agile service management here let's click on that and let's raise a request let's say a common request I need to get IT help and my summary is I am doing a demo and description. This demo is so cool. And then we'll click create. That is it, guys. If you need to raise requests and you have uh, IT support team, maybe somewhere outsourced, the other company is doing it. This is it. This is all you have to do. And then you can watch your request right here. You click on my requests. And you have them all right here. You can click on them. And without leaving Microsoft 365, you have everything here you need. You like there's any conversation happening, any activity happening. You can see it right here. How cool is that? I think that's amazing. So let me show you what happens in the uh, Jira Service Management side. Let's go there. Here we are. Uh, you can see I'm doing a demo. Uh, ticket raised and right now it's waiting for support. So let me click on that. Let's say I am this amazing IT support person who just got a new ticket. I'm so excited. I'm doing my job and here I, I have I am doing a demo. I'm clicking on it. See descriptions already here. I have everything I need and let's say I'm like okay uh, what do I need to do? Maybe I need to chat with one of my colleagues to understand uh, what is happening? Maybe I need to get some some second opinion. So all I do is I click start a conversation because we have Microsoft Teams integrated right into here. So I click on it. We have a chat. I do chat with my colleague Pradeep and I can say Pradeep, I need your help, buddy. Let's say Pradeep is an expert in this particular issue and I start a chat right here. And here we go, this is our chat. As you can see, the workflow changed to Teams chat automatically. So at any point of time, by doing actions, we know what are we doing, where we are at. First, we're waiting for support, and now we know that we are in a, in a chat phase where we're chatting uh, with the client or with some more support stuff. So very, very, very cool. Um, yeah, there are different settings you can set. You can have uh, chat access, set notifications, don't set notifications. So you can play with it. There are lots of things you can do with this chat. Very versatile. You can use templates to send um, different 
templated answers. So it's, it has everything you need to get your life so much easier. But let's say we want to also schedule a meeting with Pradeep because I'm like, okay, uh, this issue is more complicated than I thought, Pradeep. We need to have a meeting now. And what we do is we have a lot of things here on the top. You can see Microsoft Teams, related emails. We see a lot of things. So we can have Outlook meetings. So we click on Outlook meetings. Here we are on the right. We see availability uh, of anybody who are inviting. So let's say I'm inviting Pradeep. And it sends me the suggested time when everybody is available, which is very, very convenient. I can also use different templates. Let's say it's a management approval, time for review, or weekly meeting invitation, and it will change everything based on this template. So it's very easy. Then we can also add um, the Teams meeting. So it knows that it needs to generate a Teams link. We can put agenda here. A very serious issue. And that is it. We just click send. And look how convenient it is. I can join just by clicking one button. I don't need to search for anything. Where is my meeting? What we're talking about? If everything is in this Jira issue, I can just go read our chat. I can click join and we are completely good. We're all set. And I can see here in the activity what was changed. And I can notice like if somebody's changing, let's say a meeting, I can see it here as well. So all, all everything that we need is available here. So everything that we need is available in one place, which makes your life so much easier. Now, if we're talking about the chats, uh, the one thing that a lot of people, I guess, are wondering, what if my company has a policy or at some point we need to archive all the chats because security, privacy, all these kind of things. Amazing thing is that you can have a backup of your chat attached to the Jira Service Management issue so you'll not lose your chats even though they're archived on the Microsoft Teams site, which makes it way, way easier to manage and have everything in one place. Now, just to show you, if we go back to Microsoft 365, we have, again, meeting with Pradeep. We know the meeting was created right here. You can join a meeting. Everything is in one place, very easy to manage. Um, and we see that the request was changed to Teams chat by automation for Jira. So you can also follow everything that is happening right in Microsoft 365 without any issue as well. You can join a meeting and you have all the updates here as well. So it works both ways and works very nicely. However, that is not it yet, guys. There is more. Let's say you're one of those companies that even though you need to use Jira for everything and you understand how good it is, you are still one of those who like to use emails. And you have email threads here and there. And people are like, but I sent email about that here. I sent email about that there. And then you can find where your emails are. And then you all spend all your time going to finding those emails. This actually solves this problem as well because you ha can have email threads uh, right here as well. You can actually send emails right from your Jira service management, which is crazy. Hey, you go to a related email section and you can send an email. If I want to send email to Pradeep again, then the email again, there's a bunch of templates you can use. There is access you can use. You can see who can see it. You can see, um, you can choose a time where to send it. Uh, who should be able to see the conversation and if comments should be added or not. So there's a lot of those things you can, you can choose right into here without leaving this interface. And when we click on send, see the emails appear right there as well. So you have all the related emails, all the Outlook meetings, all the chats. Everything you need is in one single place. If you are a big company that deals with lots of people, imagine how much time you save by not going and looking in 15 different places. You have everything in one place. And as somebody who is in IT support, who need to understand what's happening, let's say uh, Anatoly is an amazing guy, but today he's sick. And then somebody else, let's say John is coming to the work and he needs to pick up Anatoly's ticket. Well, now we have all the related emails, all the chats. He can join a meeting. Everything is available at a glance. This is gold, my friends. This saves so much time that you can't even imagine because 
to be honest, most of the time spent trying to look up for things, to having processes inefficient. And this makes those processes very, very straightforward, which I truly love. Now you might ask, Anatoly, this all looks so amazing. I really want it, but tell me more. Where can I get it? How much does it cost? Well, let me show you. Here we are at Atlassian Marketplace. The link for this will be in the description down below. You can try this completely free. This app has 9,000 installations, which trust me, I review a lot of apps. This is a lot of installations. It is cloud fortified, so other reliability checks and security is there. Uh, let's look at the pricing because I'm sure you guys are curious. If you are a team of 10 people, it's completely free. So. If you have a small instance, try it in that instance, play with it, see if you like it. I'm sure you will because I'm my mind is blown and I'm not even Microsoft 365 user, but I really, really like it. And, and if I would use Microsoft 365, this would be my number one app I would install right away. So then if you go to 100, uh, let's say, users, it is $3.20 per user, but it saves you so much time. Imagine you're paying somebody $40 an hour and for like, I don't know, 10 hours, 10 hours a month, they are going and searching for emails, for messages, they're inefficient, you're losing clients. This allows you to save all this money. And to me, that makes complete sense. I don't think it's expensive at all. I think this app is so good. It's such seamlessly integrates two tools that um, I think that's a great, great deal. So my friends, this was a review of Microsoft 365 for Jira made by Yasun. Again, I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. I truly enjoy reviewing it. I think we need more tools like that allows us to integrate everything together. Um, please, if you enjoyed, go and check it out, description down below for the app itself and share it with your friends. If somebody who is using Microsoft 365 needs to know that, please send it to them. I appreciate it very much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.